Welcome back. <clears throat> Conga.com is Nigeria's largest online mall, trading tens of thousands of items with nationwide delivery. Um, I'm sure you remember what happened last week. Um, the, the, the trend we spoke about on this program last week that is now spreading all over the world, the trend being Black Friday. Um, they were part of Black Friday as well, and they'll be telling us all about what happened to them on Black Friday. But um, it's good to know that Nigerians are now imbibing and embracing online shopping, and people don't really want to get in their cars anymore and drive physically to a mall to, to make their purchases. And that, I suppose, is good news for Conga. Conga.com, the CEO and founder, is here with us, Mr. Sin Shagaya. Good morning. Good morning, Alaro. And he's got a broad smile today, more <laughs> broader than the last time we were here a few months ago. And he has come along with the director of products, Mr. Olato Kumbaha Good morning, Good morning. Uh, And he's got a beautiful smile on his face as well. Yeah, yes. Now, um, <laughs> now, what is the big news? Oh, Why is Conga.com here today? Yeah, I suppose um, we are here to talk about the staggering results we saw um, during our Yakata sale. So everybody in the world calls it Black Friday. Congo has localized it and called it Yakata. And we thought, um, you know, we planned a lot for it. Um, we planned for up to a year for it. And we thought, you know, we're going to do five times last year. So last year we did about 30 million naira in sales on a single day. And when we planned, we thought we were going to do five times. We thought we were going to do yes. six times. But Nigerians ended up delivering 20 times the number of sales over Yakata. Nigerians bought 600 million naira worth of goods off of the Conga platform. On one, in one day? Yakata spent two days. Two days. So last year we had it over four days. Oh, last year was 30 million over four, four days. days. This year was 600 over two days. 600 million yeah. over two days. Yes. Didn't they say that internet was expensive in Nigeria so Nigerians would not imbibe online trading and all that? <laughs> They also said Nigerians will never use mobile phones. They also said Nigerians don't use technology. But I think Nigerians have shown that we're some of the most tech savvy people in the world. <coughs> Tell me about yes, it. Yes, we're jumping forward. We're leaving brick and mortar stores and going straight to e-commerce. And the people, I mean, we got so much volume, we ended up having to deliver. All of us ended up delivering. I was delivering. Mm -hmm. And I delivered to people who worked at construction sites. I was delivering to low-income Nigerians, people who you would ordinarily not think, God forgive me. <coughs> You know, you would not be shopping online. online. Yeah, but it's everybody. It's everyone. So what online. kind of things are people buying online on Congo.com? So it's usual suspects. Yeah. I, mean, like, I guess one of the things that makes shopping in Nigeria or shopping online in Nigeria unique is the fact that people buy all manner of things. So whereas when Amazon started, for example, people were buying books and all that. But here we're selling generators, flat screen TVs. The other day we, we saw someone uh, actually ordered solar panels going to Abuja. Yeah. So it's very, it's a, a lot. Anything you can think about, people are actually buying online. Yeah, we're selling saunas, jacuzzis. Yes. Yeah. Now tell me, how do you get the products that you sell? So we've got two um, lines, basically. So we've got the things we stock ourselves and sell. We so you can spot it yourself? Yes. Or okay. buy from our suppliers. Or buy from our suppliers locally. We also have the marketplace where we empower Nigerians. You could, for, for example, maybe you just sell, I don't know, dresses or mm -hmm. tops. Okay. Yeah. Maybe 10 per time. So some of our would supply you. Yeah. No, no. So you can sell on, you can list your product on the Conga marketplace. Ah, okay. So we've got like tools and technologies to enable um, SMEs, local entrepreneurs to, to basically use Conga as their storefront. And this so you, you get a commission yes. for so selling it. Exactly. 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 And that's a very important yeah. question. It's, and, and this point Tooks just made is very critical to us. Conga sees itself not as being the only seller on e-commerce. We want to empower tens of thousands, some day hundreds of thousands yes. of Nigerians to be selling. This year, 600 million that we talked about, what makes us really proud is about 200, 230 million of that went to Nigerian SMEs. Who just use your, 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 your so sales is our platform, we sales for them yes. on that day. You know, I'm smiling mm -hmm. because smiling. I was at Harvard recently, and one of the two case studies yeah. uh, during Harvard executive training was eBay and Amazon. Yeah. And the principle that you're explaining now is yeah. one of the things that took Amazon from where they were in 2001 yeah. to where they are today. Exactly. So I'm thinking, so this money, yeah, just letting the people bring their businesses and use as their shopfront. Yeah. Now, having done that, how do you? 
extrapolate and enable a lot more businesses? What do they need to do yeah. to be part of the success story of Conga? Maybe to use your platform. Yeah, no, that, that's a really good question. And this is where Conga really needs to double down and work. All of this volume we're talking about, Karobo, was from sellers in only Lagos. We're getting calls from sellers in Ibadan, sellers in Lokoja, <coughs> sellers in Kano, saying, when can we take part? Oh. But for Conga to be able to allow that to happen, we have to build out the logistics system mm -hmm. nationwide. Mm -hmm. And so our big mission, mission yes, yes, so that America yeah. can receive an order in Enugu and take it somewhere. That's the, it's a fundamental question of e-commerce. You receive an order, where, where do you take it? You know, there's no network to take it to. Mm. And so Congo has taken it upon itself to build that network. And until we can, you know, so when you're launching eBay in America, you can just turn it on because the network is already there. The United States Postal Service is there. There's a logistics network. Congo has to build it. So through Q1 next year, what we're going to be working on along with our colleagues is to build out this network so that people anywhere in Nigeria can sell. And not only sell within Nigeria, but we'll also allow you to sell into Ghana next year, sell into Senegal next year. You know, last time I was here, I told you about how we'll let somebody in Senegal buy Gele. Well, that vision will be realized next year. Um, so this is... Buy Gele, uh, which will be, you can buy the uh, Damask type. Exactly. Yes. You're sitting in Dakar so, and you're buying yeah. from a seller in, in Lagos. Well, like so yes. uh, basically, we'll be empowering the Nigerian SMEs not just to sell locally, but now they can sell across the West African Union, at least initially. Yeah. 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 So um, back to w what he asked. What does a supplier, well, what does a tr trader need to do to be able to use your platform? So I guess basically you need a mobile phone because we have a mobile <laughs> phone. <laughs> Is that all? You That's that. about That's it. Really. Yeah. Um, so we have, a, we have a mobile app. We have a product called Seller HQ, which enables you essentially to list, to trade. You can manage your account on that, on that product. And that was built by local Nigerian engineers mm -hmm. that we invested in, mm -hmm. looked for. Yeah. We found a lot, quite a number of them. Um, this year. Okay. Um, we'll be expanding that team mm -hmm. going into next year so they can build much more products that will be intuitive and even help these people. Yeah. Okay, uh, now let's, 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 let's break this down. Let's break it down. Yes. Okay, you used me as an example earlier. I'm going to use yes. me again. Yes. I'm selling clothes. Yes. Absolutely, yeah. Now, I want to sell my clothes through your platform. I have got myself a mobile phone. I have downloaded your app or whatever I need to do. Mm -hmm. Then what happens? So basically, you download the app. You register. Yes. So that registration, we verify you by knowing your phone number, verify your phone number, we verify your, your bank, bank accounts. accounts. So essentially, we know you. So call it KYC. But talks you pay okay. nothing to join. You pay nothing to join. No joining fees. Okay. okay. There's no fee to list your product. Okay. And then you upload the picture of your fine dresses that you've sourced mm -hmm. or you've created on Conga. On Conga, mm -hmm. precisely. And this whole process will generally take about two days. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, well, sometimes less. So okay. somebody then mm -hmm. orders my dress through Conga. And then you receive an SMS and an email saying, "Hello, you sold this lovely blue dress." So how do I then deliver the dress? So it's sitting in my shop. So let's say you're sitting. Say you live in. I don't know. Say you live in. In Ikeja, yeah. we will tell you go drop it off at our service point on Allen Avenue. And we have 30 ah. of these. And when you walk into this Allen Avenue service point, it looks like a post office. Mm -hmm. They give you packing material, you pack it, you wrap it nicely. We